pandemic has forced many changes to our favorite summertime traditions, but as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps shows us, the ride for Roswell found a new way to roll on, raising a lot of money for cancer research. When Western New York needed them most, they were there in a flash. They transformed, grabbed their bikes, and went on their way to help fight cancer. We are trying to bring fun and whimsy to any event that we can, to, you know, just to brighten up people's days, the, the smiles on the kids, and just the, the joy they get. The Superhero Alliance of Western New York assembled on Sunday morning to raise money for the ride for Roswell. We wanted to participate uh, with Roswell in the ride as it was originally set up, but when they changed it up to this uh, sort of uh, on your own version, we stuck with it. They're cheering bikers on. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Riding and raising money for the cause. We raised close to $2,000 for uh, the ride for Roswell today, so we're really excited to get out there. The superhero crew rode on their own route through the town of Tonawanda, while others rode in small groups near the university at Buffalo campus. Well, we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the ride for Roswell. We're doing it this year socially distanced, but the spirit of the ride for Roswell is alive and well. During a normal year, there would be thousands of people here celebrating and fundraising. Of course, this year, there are fewer people, but the support is just as strong. There's been a great turnout for these distance rides, and the fundraising has been amazing. We're uh, well in excess of uh, $3 million, um, which is just absolutely incredible. Bourgeois has been supporting this event for 22 years, but he says they need the support this year more than ever. So just because we're in a pandemic, it hasn't stopped cancer, and we have to keep going. And we have to keep that going because we will end cancer as we know it because of things like the ride for Roswell. There's still time to participate. You can find the link to register or donate on our website at WKBW.com. Come back next year and uh, we'll be here. we got to keep going. Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.